Hey everyone. Now in this video, what we are going to see is uh, we have a scenario where uh, we have a call manager and the IP phones in 10,000 or 10x series range is registered to the call manager. And we have a asterisk PBX and 50,000 series phones are registered to asterisk PBX. So what we want to do is we want 10,000 series should be able to call 50,000 series and 50,000 series should be able to call to 10,000 series over the SIP trunk. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a uh, SIP trunk between your call manager and asterisk PBX. So here we have a call manager in this side and here we have a asterisk PBX, PBX in this side and these are uh, this IP phones to the call manager or this IP phone to asterisk PBX is registered over a SIP trunk. So uh, let's see how can we uh, go ahead and create a SIP trunk between a call manager and asterisk PBX and integrate each other, right? So I'll navigate to the call uh, to the PBX here, and I'll go to the PBX over here. Now, as you know, in our last video, right, uh, what we have done is like we registered a fifty thousand one to the asterisk, right? So here, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a trunk. So let's click on trunk over here. And then there are multiple flavors of trunk that you can use. In our case, what we are going to do is we are going to use a SIP trunk. So I click on add a SIP trunk here. And then here it is asking you for a trunk name. So let's do that. So I'll make it as trunk to COCM. So basically it says this is a trunk which is going towards your COCM, right? So now it, in case of outbound caller ID, I'll not tweak it. Like uh, you can basically tweak the outbound caller ID if you want, like for example, uh, in this format, right? Uh, if you want, um, you know, this is basically required if in case if you want to manipulate any of the numbers, right? So in our case, we don't do, we'll, we are not doing that and allow any caller ID. So what we are doing is we are allowing any of the caller ID days is coming from the or coming towards the SIP trunk. In case of maximum channels, we are not going to touch it. Let it be uh, as it is default. So if you click on this question mark, you'll get to know like what is the, I mean, leave blank to def, uh, specify no maximum. If in case, if you define any uh, number over here, so that means you'll have limitation to that particular channel to that number of calls. I'm not defining anything. So we'll keep it as blank. So which means no restrictions. So in the match pattern, what we are going to do is in the match pattern, you can either uh, you know match a pattern and send the call out of this. Otherwise, uh, we anyways are going to create an outbound route and in outbound route, we are going to match this pattern. So what I'll do is any calls that is heading to 10xx, right, uh, is something that we want to match. Now, this is something what we have done and I'm not going to touch these parameters. And the next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch this parameter in the peer details. So first and the foremost, we are talking about outbound settings. So let's name this trunk as outbound. I'll ju I just named it as outbound safe trunk CUCM. All right. Now here in the peer details, you have to provide some information. So let's provide it. So we are going to make it as a type equal to peer and then host equal to the IP address of your call manager. This is the call manager IP address and port we have to define port number where the call manager is accepting the calls type 060 for the signaling and insecure equal to port comma invite and net equal to no and disallow equal to all and so we are going to disallow all the codec except uh, ULO and ELO U comma ELO and qualify equal to yes so this is the configuration that we are applying for the outbound now what we have to do is we have to apply some configuration for the inbound calls right so I'm going to make this um, the same name but here I'm going to rename this as inbound 
inbound zip trunk CUCM. All right, and I'm going to modify this parameter again. Type equal to friend. Okay, and then here host equal to 172.160.160. We are accepting the calls from 160 IP address. And then context equal to from internal and from trunk and then disallow equal to all allow equal to new law and a law and net equal to no qualify equal to yes to vary now this is the configuration that i have um, i'm going to apply and submit changes so after you submit the changes i'll click on apply config over here and we have just saved the configuration so now remember like uh, by default right when you uh, get uh, calls right um, anonymous calls are not allowed on your free, free ppx by default so if you want to allow the anonymous calls by default right what you have to do is you have to navigate to security not i think uh, it's in let me recall where it is sorry okay so what we have to do is we have to go to the security and then advanced settings here you have to enable uh, enable anonymous zip calls we'll make it as enable and if you want to you know access the free pbx system directly from your uh, elastics right you can have a direct access so you can turn this on if you want to okay so we have to enter the credential here the data, database password and whatnot so we'll enter the password here and click on save right so we have done this setting so we are in a, now allowing and enable anonymous zip calls so now what we can do is uh, we'll go uh, back to the pbx here so we have created a zip trunk so now let's see if the status of the zip trunk right so i'll enter the command zip show ps now if you note here the zip trunk is up and running so this is our extension which we configured in the last video now this is the inbound zip trunk and this is the outbound zip trunk and this seems to be up and running as per the status shown over here okay and now what we have to do is now we have to go to the call manager and create a trunk between the call manager and the asterisk let's do that okay so we have logged into the call manager trunks and now what we have to do is um, we have to you know create a trunk between your call manager and asterisk so let's do that so i'll click on add new and then i'll go here and select zip trunk device protocol as zip and then click on next so what i'll do is i'll enter the command or enter the name of the zip trunk maybe trunk to asterisk as the name suggests and description is something i put in here like uh, trunk to asterisk and put it in a device pool if you want so i can leave it as a default i mean it's as per your requirement and then i am going to come down here i'll check this box run on all active nodes and then here in the inbound calls i'll make sure like i use the right css so that the inbound calls can come come through right i choose the right css so that there is no issue in the inbound calls now i go down here and then here in the destination address i put the asterisk ip address so it's going to be Okay, and the port number is going to be 5060 and now in the zip trunk security profile 
choose a non-secure zip trunk security profile and zip profile is standard zip profile and then save this and then reset the trunk so once you reset the trunk right um, so this trunk will come up in a minute i would recommend like uh, always use options ping enable so that uh, you know you can uh, um, you know monitor the zip trunk status so what i'll do is instead of using the default zip trunk profile i'll use the options ping enabled zip trunk profile so that we can monitor the zip trunk status right okay it's giving me some error so i'll come here and change the zip trunk profile to options ping enabled save and then now reset close now we have done this now what we are going to do is as per our scenario here right we are going to you know create a routing so now the zip trunk is created but we have not created the routing from both the side so we have to create the routing on the address side as well as well as the call manager side right so let's go to the call manager first go to the call routing route pattern and then i'll add a new pattern I see any calls for 50 XXX which is in internal partition calls to stress route this call using trunk to stress zip trunk gateway right and I save this configuration so which means any calls that is going for 50,000 take this trunk which we have just configured right so we have done this configuration on our call manager side that any calls to 50,000 x take this set trunk right now you have to do the same configuration on the pbx side as well that any calls for 10,000 series you take this trunk so how do we do that let's go to the elastics pack again and create outbound routes here now in outbound routes i'll name this as call to cucm 10xxx right just give it a name and then i'll not change any of this parameter i'll leave this parameter as default and then here i'm going to match the pattern as 10xxx so any call studies for 10,000 series i'm going to match this route pattern and i'm choosing the trunk which we created initially on the asterisk trunk to cucm and submit the changes apply configuration so what we are saying is any calls to 10,000 series you take this trunk which we created this is the trunk which we created so you take this trunk and send the call to 172.16.10.160 which is a call manager and on the call manager side we are saying any calls to 50,000 series you take this trunk which is related to asterisk and route this call to 172.160.56.156 right so we are basically using this trunk right now it says no service time not in full service zero day zero hour zero minute let's see first let's make some test calls and see if at least the calls are going through or not no we know like the trunk is not up but at least let's test some of the calls right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable some command to check the debugs. Set zip debug on. Okay, sorry. Zip set debug on. Okay, I've enabled debug. Now let's make a call from the uh, 10002, which is a call manager to asterisk and see if the calls are going through. So we don't see any calls going towards the asterisk. Let's see from asterisk if the calls are coming through to the call manager. So you see the calls from asterisk is coming to the call manager. I want to get to the call and we are able to see the calls. The calls from your um, call manager to asterisk is not coming through. The reason being is uh the profile which we are using so if i show you here we are using a non-secure zip trunk profile and if i go here 
in the SIP security profile, I click on the non-secure SIP trunk profile and the outgoing transport that it is using is as TCP. So let's change it to UDP and save the configuration and reset the trunk again. Now this trunk should come up, come up in a minute time. So let's try at least making a call. The call should at least route now. Let's see now. Okay, I'll make a call from 10,002 to 50,001 NC. As soon as I make mm -hmm. the call, the call, the call from 10,002 to 50,001 has come and there is no issue with the call. Right, right. And, and this was the reason uh, why the call was not going earlier was because of the outbound uh, transport type was set to TCP which we changed to UDP and the call started going. Now if you refresh this in a minute time the trunk should be up. Let's wait for a minute and see if the trunk comes up on the call manager. Okay let's refresh this page. Okay so it says full in service time in full service 0 day 0 hour 0 minute. Now if you enter the command sip show peers <coughs> your trunk should be up and running. Okay, let me turn off the debug first. And now, SIP show PS, right? So we know, right, uh, the inbound trunk and the outbound trunk, they are pretty much reachable. And that's how the calls are landing between the call manager and the PBX. So this is how you integrate uh, the call manager with uh, asterisk PBX. Uh, so the calls can route from call manager to asterisk and asterisk to call manager. Uh, I hope uh, this video is informative for you. Thank you for watching.